hello guys and welcome to another video and today we are testing 2020.44 and um, yeah there are two major questions here the first one is does it contain the rewrite without any fsd functionality uh, and will we see some other improvements compared to the previous versions let's find out Now, as usual, we start with the hill crest, where, um, yeah, at the top, I don't expect any issues at all, since that has been going well for quite some time now. It's the bottom section that I'm interested in. And I've got a speeder here. But, yeah, it is making a slight adjustment when the lane markings disappear nothing to be too worried about but it is still a slight adjustment that is unnecessary so i guess that tesla needs to focus more on following the right lane marking or something to keep it going straight on now let's see if the car will still slow down for the roundabout and how it will tackle it in this update It is slowing down, that's good. Now let's see how well it actually will handle it. Yeah. No. It is going straight into the curb there. So that's not good. It is doing it, I think, a bit slower than the previous update. But uh, yeah, that's not a, a good way to tackle a roundabout. Uh, the way it did it right now Up ahead we have the s-curve and the big question is of course since the regulations haven't changed Will the car slow down before the turn? Yes or no? So here we go It is again not slowing down It is going over the line braking rather hard keeping it in check so that's a little bit better it didn't go over as much as the previous attempt but still in the current regulatory conditions the car should slow down before the curve to keep the lateral g-forces in check oh a small phantom brake there um, it's been a while since I've had those but yeah that's not good either so let's find out how the car handles the on-ramp. So slowing down, still going to that outside, blinking, okay, that's going rather smoothly. Now let's see, will it continue to blink? Yep, again, it is trying to go to the other side or to the other lane. I think it is something to do with trying to move over for other people to allow them to enter the uh, highway but it is unnecessary unless there is actually somebody that needs to enter the highway well, let's see how the car handles the double exit so here is the first one let's see how smooth that goes oh little bit jerky but no secondary motion to keep the car in the middle of the lane that's good now let's see if we have the same thing with that second exit here coming up so it waits a little bit and then enters and the secondary correction after all so I don't think there's any changes at least not on this particular test point so this is still a problem that I see regularly navigate an autopilot currently unavailable because the Sun is blinding one of the uh, cameras 
there you go. Um, so yeah, I don't think we'll get to full self-driving as long as we keep having these error messages and the whole system just stops working at that point. Yeah, let's see if we can still do a lane change to the right with that truck over there and see how it reacts. Yeah, that seems to be working. And yeah, it is still sort of cancelling because that truck appears in the wrong spot or in the wrong lane. So the low hanging sun is not really a problem for the front camera apparently, but it is for the bipolar cameras. Now for some reason also the car is turning on my lights. Um, I'm thinking that has something to do with the sun as well. Well, ah, it cancels again because of that truck. And now the timeout elapsed. Wow. <laughs> that is really bad. So yeah, um, I'm really hoping we'll be getting that rewrite soon and that will fix, amongst other things, that particular issue. But it also means that currently we are not having the rewrite in Europe with 2020.44. So let's see how the car reacts now to my second double exit test point. I'm already quite slow behind this van here and there is a car behind me that is going to take the same exit so I will not be able to let the car completely do its thing but we'll see how it goes. This is a smooth start and a really minor correction. Now let's see, here it still goes too much to the outside, getting the auto steer limited message because of the UNEC regulations. Oh, navigate on autopilot already ended here. So it's not working anymore until the end of the exit. So yeah, so of course I don't need to expect it to take the exit here. Okay, so that is again a step backwards on um, autopilot or navigate on autopilot level, unfortunately. Now since the sun was shining directly into the side camera when I tested earlier, I wanted to give the car and this update a second chance. It's a little bit busier now, but let's see if the uh, navigate on autopilot will still cancel so early or whether it was the sun that uh, caused it. So yeah, really slow in the turn right now because of traffic in front of me. There's also a car behind me so I can't really let it do its thing. Now this is about where it cancelled and it doesn't now. Okay, let's see if it will take the exit. not doing anything yeah it's going it's going it's cancelling yeah it's not really taking the exit well maybe it would have at higher speeds but the problem that we saw was again due to the Sun blinding one of the cameras and then autopilot the navigate and autopilot just stops working um, yeah that's definitely not good of course now let's see if there's any change in uh, the traffic sign reading. So here we have a sign of 50. It doesn't, it usually don't stops here or doesn't change autopilot to 50 kilometers an hour. And in this case, it doesn't do it either. So that is still something that needs to be improved. Now here also interesting, like the car was beeping, but it would not stop on autopilot for that truck that was partly in the road. So it would have just hit that truck or did a last second uh, or split second emergency braking. But that is also something that I regularly notice if a car is just like a slight bit parked in the road, then um, 
it would actually hit that car. Up ahead we have that lane shift and I'm already seeing that it is a red light at the moment. Just turn green, okay. So let's continue through it. There is no truck parked there as well to slow us down. So we should be able to get it at the proper speed. Now let's see how fluent this will still be. Oh yeah, I'm really liking the way it is handling this in the last couple of updates. It is really fluent, minimal steering motion. Love it. And of course we have our final test point here where the lane markings disappear altogether. Enabling autopilot. It is hunting for the middle of the road. Going to the right side again, to the middle again. Going quite quickly to the right side. So that's good, but the hunting left, right, that's not good. Now let's see, hopefully there's nobody coming from the right so I can let it do its thing. Okay. This is good already. Now here's a pedestrian that is walking on the road. Let's see how it reacts to that. It is just going to follow that pedestrian and is not going to pass them. Well, it's time for another conclusion now. And what do I think about this update? Unfortunately, I've seen too many test points that verify for me that with 2020.44 in Europe, we are not yet having that uh, rewrite with all eight cameras stitched together as one image and uh, a lot better behavior. So I'm really looking forward to actually uh, getting that rewrite as I think that will solve many problems. Um, the roundabout, yeah, it is still not able to tackle that roundabout. It goes onto the curb and then drives into the opposite side. Um, that is not good, of course. Also no change on the S-curve, it is still going too much to the outside of, uh, of the lane going over the line. It did slow down a lot harder and a lot quicker or a lot sooner, um, but still it was going over the line and if there would have been a car coming from the other side that would have been a head-on collision. Um, low hanging sun. That is still a problem that I hope that maybe the rewrite can also fix. But uh, right now it doesn't look good for full self-drive in these conditions. And it's just a sunny autumn day here. So nothing special about the current weather conditions. But as soon as it hits the B-pillar cameras, then uh, the auto lane change is no longer possible to be done on that side. And navigate on autopilot is also cancelled at that point. So yeah, that is not good and there should be a solution for that as well. Traffic lights. I think that uh, traffic light detection has improved uh, quite a bit over the past few updates. Because now it only gives me that ping on green when it is actually green for my lane that I'm in and no longer for the lanes that are turning left, for example. You can still manually override it and say, okay, I want to continue even though it's red, but there's a green light in view of the camera system. But that is also training of the system. So uh, the system thinks you can't go because it doesn't give you the ping. But when you say, well, you can actually go now. So that would be a wrong training of the system. Um, which I do for testing purposes, but otherwise, yeah, of course, you wouldn't be doing that uh, because that would give you a ticket, naturally. Um, the part where the lane markings disappear altogether was a little bit better once it had to turn to the side, but 
at the first part where you have these parked cars that are partly on the road it still thinks that it is one big road and it hunts for the middle of that one wide lane as soon as it widens a bit then it detects well okay this is actually a two-way road um, it was good to see that it also kept behind the pedestrians of course with FSD it will have passed those pedestrians but right now it is uh, taking care of the uh, pedestrians and cyclists and it's good to see that these uh, people are a priority of course so yeah unfortunately not the change that I was hoping for but uh, yeah slight change left or right and uh, we still have the prospect of getting that rewrite I just hope it comes really soon because right now I have to admit I'm really really jealous of the people in the US that have uh, the full self-drive beta and seeing all those videos um, man I'm really looking forward to putting that to the test here in our neck of the woods alright so as usual if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos and for now thanks for watching see you guys in the next one bye bye